okay, so tell me how it's been going. Like what was actually, let's go back to what was going on in your business that kind of made you jump into this? I think, um, well, a little bit unique was I was splitting myself between two businesses mm -hmm. um, and then just working like crazy, crazy hours, projects that have kind of spun out of scope. Um, and I was looking at them realizing that I, in a way, had let them get out of scope because I didn't have processes set in motion. And I, I also was not confident in the way that I was talking with my clients um, mm -hmm. and letting them take the lead. I used to have on my website, we work together. I work with you. I collaborate with you. And I think even in my writing and how I was working, I was almost in, the, in a way, in a way thought it was a good thing that I was being so collaborative rather than being the, not the leader, what's the word, the the one that really knew what, what I was doing. Mm -hmm. That's not the right word, but you know what I mean? Like having the confidence yeah. to be like, um, I'll, I'll lead this. I heard a, a podcast where the guy said, we do 80% of the work and the client does 20. Cool. And so what happened when you got into boot camp? What, what changed? What was kind of your first impression or first um, wins that you had? Um, one was the confidence to ask for what I should be getting paid. So with, with bids rather than, um, rather than looking at it as an hourly, like when I did my bids, it was like, oh, I know I can put together a WordPress site and probably, you know, like, because I use Beaver Builder and the technology has moved in a way that I don't always need a developer. It was like, ah, I can do a website in five hours, but I wasn't looking at the big picture of the 20 years of knowledge that I have, the, um, the fact that, yes, I will lead them, I will um, do this strategy, that there's so much more beyond just building a website, um, that I'm not just as a designer, they're hiring a thinker. Um, and so, yes, I did get a new client because of that, but I also know that moving forward, when I talk to people, I'll have a different mindset. Awesome. So what kind of skills do you feel like you got that you're going to carry forward with you? Well, one will be that. Um, two, I, I will say when I signed up for the boot camp, I was crazy busy. I'm still at a place where I'm still a little bit nutty. Um, so I know that there's still plenty that I need to do. Um, for, so processes is one. Um, and then two, when I look at and I put together a proposal, I also have to be like, if, if they don't take it, um, so be it. It wasn't like, I need to know that it wasn't, a, that I shouldn't beg for work um, and to look at it more as uh, the projects need to fit my goals, my long-term goals. Um, so yes. And then if, in my, also what I, I don't know if I, if this was something you said, but I've also realized like, look, I've, Rather than if I have a downtime, like if I'm slow, like for me, if in two months I do have like a little slow time, I'm actually going to take that and take what I've learned in this boot camp. And rather than fill my time with cheap projects that could go really bad, um, <laughs> there's enough tools that you've shown me that I haven't had time to implement that I'm going to think of that as, okay, look, you know, the universe has given me some time to actually do all the stuff that... I need to do. Yeah. So you'll, you feel like you can focus on your business and actually make improvements to make it more like what you want it to be. Yeah. Because there, because you did give us so much, but I have, I am still really busy with a few, one um, ongoing website that I hope that we can wrap up in a month. Um, that was like one of the reasons why I signed up for this because I mm -hmm. did let it go haywire. Um, and then, you know, just all the other work that I have that just continually piles on. So, yeah. So what would you say to someone who's thinking about this or maybe thinking about scheduling a strategy session, but they're not sure? Um, well, one, you know, one, I feel like, so I have worked for myself for 16 years and I, I'm a self-taught person. 
um, I always boasted about like, oh, I just Google everything. I, um, it, it's, you know, it's like my testimonial. This is the shortcut to being more successful and doing things smarter and not working so hard. I live in Colorado so that I can bike and hike and do all this stuff. And um, I don't wanna be that person that's like, yeah, boasting about working on the weekend. To me, that's a, that's a downfall. It's not something to be proud of. Um, so I would, I would, I would say it's a shortcut and that you, if you invest in yourself, like I wish someone had told me to invest in myself sooner yeah um, and that it is a shortcut like i'm super excited and not sure why i didn't do it sooner i think working for yourself you think um i i you know i pay for my software i pay for my computers i pay for all these external things to run my business but i had never invested like in the biggest part of my business my brain yeah um so yeah and I think the other thing is, is that all the stuff you've taught us is going to go way beyond the 10 weeks with you. Like, that's what I'm so excited about. Awesome. Awesome. I love that. I love your feedback. Thank you so much.